this or I'm gonna do that. It's a feel, man. It's it, a feel. Fighting is a feel. It's not a, a here's the here's the question and then here's the answer. It's not linear. It's very up down. It's just like life. So I need to uh, I need to go out there. I, I'm going to do what I do best, create angles, feints, create openings, and when I see them openings, I'm going to attack fierce and fucking violent, and, and I'm going to put this guy away. You said this is going to be a high-paced, violent fight. Yeah. Yeah, so you, you're building it up. I mean, you're really feeling it. You're feeling it for fight of the night. Yeah. I'm, I'm looking for a bonus, but it, guys, it's not going to be fight of the night. But it sounds like, it sounds like it's gonna, there's going to be some kind of bonus there, you know, just the way this fight is going to be so... UFC Fight Night in Boston, Eddie Alvarez takes on Benson Henderson. And this is a good fight for the co-main event. If it turns into the main event, don't say I didn't tell you. But Eddie Alvarez is in his second fight here in UFC, and he lost badly to Donald Cerrone. And he never went to UFC. He fought a long time out of the UFC. He became the Bellator pretty much poster boy. He was the main guy in Bellator for a long time. But if you think about it, he didn't really step up early on and fight the top competition. He went to Bellator. He went to Dream. He fought in Bodo and, and Show XC. And he even had his losses, you know, in those fight organizations. He actually lost in Bellator to, to Greg Lauren back in 2009. And still won a bunch in a row. Did some great things there. But eventually came up short again when, when he lost to Michael Chandler. And that's really where a lot of the fans began to know his name. And... Tough fight, you know, he won at, at UFC 106. That fight was crazy, I was there first row. I got some interview with with uh, Eddie Alvarez on this video, so check it out afterwards. But I'm gonna go for Benson Henderson here. I think that Benson has done so much in, in his career. He was really a betting man's dream. 21 and four, hadn't lost in so long, Benson Henderson. And he finally got knocked out in his last fight. First dose on us. And I predicted Benson Henderson. I'm sure everybody did. He's been so good to us for so long. But he got knocked out. And that happened. So it's probably a wake-up call for Benson Henderson that, you know, he's getting older. And he can get caught. You know, he's not he's not Superman. He's a human being and he can get caught. And in this fight, you got to look at it like this. Eddie Alvarez picked his fights in a lot of ways. You know, he stayed out of UFC. Uh, didn't fight top-ranked competition, didn't go into the UFC, didn't fight the UFC competition, while well, Benson Henderson did. And he fought WEC, transitioned, transitioned to the UFC, and got the title there, and held on to it for a long time. I gotta go for Benson Henderson, I just think he's like a stronghold. He's somebody that you really don't bet against until you see him falling apart. And I don't think that the Rafael Dos Anjos fight is any consolation. We've seen Benson Henderson get in there with the best of them. We've seen him beat Josh Thompson. We've seen him fight Anthony Pettis. We've seen him beat Gilbert Melendez. Clay Guida. You know, we've even seen him in there with Donald Cerrone. And we saw what happened there. So, that was a while back. But I just expect Benson Henderson to come in there and take this fight. If he wants his career back, and I'm sure he does, I expect him to, to really train for this fight harder than he ever has before and come in there smoother than ever. So, Benson Henderson all the way. Eddie Alvarez is going to receive his second loss in a row, and it's going to be unfortunate. The question is, is Benson Henderson going to be able to finish here? And if he doesn't finish, you know, is Eddie Alvarez going to be able to catch him? Eddie Alvarez has his knockouts. You know, he's knocked out a lot of his opponents in the first round. I'm out of here, guys. Peace out. Benson Henderson for the win. and perform and, uh, and put a show on for the fans like I always do. High pace and violent. Stylistically, do you think it's the perfect matchup for your UFC debut? I do. I really do. I feel like this guy's going to allow me to be myself more than anyone else. He, uh, he's not, he, he's not going to play for the judges, you know. Uh, I hate fighting guys like that. They make me, they, they make me have to adjust my own fight style just, just to win the fight. So I enjoy a guy who's willing to take some risk want to uh, make himself a little bit vulnerable to finish the other guy. So uh, I can respect that in him, but uh, I think this fight won't come down to offense. I'm offensive, he's offensive. That's not going to change. It's going to come down to who's a little more focused, a little more intelligent defensively. Speaking on that, is there no frustration building up at you, you know, because there's 
with the whole saga now you're finally getting back in there and it's UFC debut there's a lot of hype around it do you think you might be pushed maybe a little bit forward to make a mistake or just to get involved as quick as possible me? no I'm, I'm completely disconnected from fighting you know I have, I have zero emotions toward this I, I really feel like there's not an emotion that I'm going to feel that's going to make me fight any better uh, I understand the sport I've, I, I've, I've fought all over the world I've fought some of the best guys in the world and uh, I, I highly doubt that I'm going to step in there in a cage and forget everything I know and forget how to do what I do best would you agree if you win on Saturday, the title shot should be what's next? It's not my job to, to say that, but I, I want to be clear and, and let the fans and, and the bosses know that I came here uh, as a champion from somewhere else, and I have every intention on being champion of here. I don't, I don't stick around. I don't want to fight number eight, number seven, number, and, and maybe break my hands on some guy's head. I want to fight the champion. I want to fight the most dangerous guys that they have in this division. That's what I'm here for. You mentioned the fact that you fought all around the world in the biggest organizations outside of the UFC. That said, now that you're here, what's the experience been like through this week? I mean, does it feel any different, any bigger? You know, are you feeling anything different or special this week? I'm realizing that I had a ton of practice the last 10, 11 years, you know, because uh, this didn't happen overnight. And if it did, I would believe you guys when you tell me I'm going to get the UFC jitters. I would believe you that, you know, I believe you when you say, oh, it's going to be different. You're going to, the media is going to overwhelm you. I would believe you. But I've had 10, 11 years of practice and um, I'm at ease, man. I'm completely sort of disconnected from, from everything that's going on. I know the, the job that needs to be done, and I'm focused on it, and uh, I'm, I'm very sure I'm going to go out there and execute. Was there any part of you over these past couple of years with all that you've been through that did get frustrated, that did get, you know, start thinking this wasn't ever going to happen for you? Have you been able to stay positive throughout? I, I'd be lying if I say I didn't, you know, I didn't feel sorry for myself here and there. But uh, I'm, I'm the type of person in general that when there's nothing but darkness, I can somehow see a little bit of light, you know. Positive. And um, I kept doing that for myself, even though I felt like uh, something bad was, you know, going on for, for me and feeling bad. I always know it, it always turns around. In, in the past, I, you always stick to your guns and do the right thing and just train hard. It always turns around and good things happen. So we're here now, and um, I've had, like I said, I've had a ton of practice to be here, and I'm ready to go out there and fully be myself and, and be, be near perfect and go out there and execute. Uh, Donald Cerrone's on a striking tear, wouldn't you agree? Yeah, yeah, his last four four fights, I'd say so. So do you think it would be smart to mix it up with him, keep keep the fight changing a lot? Yeah, I, you know, I don't, for, for me, it's not about going out there and just saying, oh, I'm going to do this or I'm going to do that. It's a feel, man. It's it, a feel. Fighting is a feel. It's not a, a here's, the, here's the question and then here's the answer. It's not linear. It's very up, down. It's just like life. So I need to uh, I need to go out there. I, I'm going to do what I do best, create angles, feints, create openings. And when I see them openings, I'm going to attack fierce and fucking violent, and, and I'm going to put this guy away. You said this is going to be a high-paced, violent fight. Yeah. Yeah, so you, you're building it up. I mean, you're really feeling it. You're feeling it for fight of the night. Yeah. I'm, I'm looking for a bonus, but it, guys, it's not going to be fighting. But it sounds like it sounds like it's gonna there's gonna be some kind of bonus there. You know, just the way this fight is gonna be so violent and so high, fast paced, there might be a bonus there. Yeah, I'm bo feeling it. But bo bonus, I'm looking for. It's not. I'm not looking for the fight of the night. Right, I got I've you. I've been in a lot of fight of the nights. They're right. Not, I never come out of them happy. You know, um, it's too I, much. I, I want to make. I want to make. I want to make a performance bonus. I want to do it clean. I want to do it. I want to do it in a manner that sends a, a, a message to everyone else. Do you think the UFC is lucky to have you? Uh, I would say so. I think anybody who, um, who, who, who I'm able to sign with on a contract is lucky. I value myself. I know what I'm capable of and I know what I bring to the table. You really bring interest to this division though, from, from a fan perspective. Yeah, I, I mean, from a high, you know, like from a hardcore fan perspective. The support has been crazy to the fans, you know, I'm not, I came here and I'm sort of not feeling the new guy feel, you know, a lot of people have just been waiting for this to happen and they're happy it happened and so am I. You were sneaking along this morning. Thank you, Eddie. Uh,